I'm Alexandra with the Pungyo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the last week of June. A public-private partnership task force to establish self-regulatory guidance on data and AI. Lee Jong-ho, Minister of Science and ICT, discussed the direction of a policy platform with experts and CEOs from digital platform companies at the Korea Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Seoul on June 22nd. Naver CEO Choi Soo Young, Kakao CEO Nam Gung Hoon, Kupang CEO Park Dae Joon, Wuha Brothers CEO Kim Bom Joon, Carrot Market Co Chief CEO Kim Jae Hyun, Korea Internet Corporations Association Chairman Park Sung Ho, and National Seoul University Vice President for Planning and Communication Lee Wan Woo and Gongguk University Professor Kwon Nam Hoon attended the meeting. Minister Lee Jong Ho said. As the influence of various platforms in society increases, it is bound to cause problems which require a regulatory system. Platform policies should be promoted differently, depending on the situation facing each country. And considering the increasingly fierce global platform market, policies must encompass the values of innovation and fairness, and the approach to regulations must be innovative. At the meeting, some voiced their opinions that it was necessary to form and operate a private-led self-regulatory body. The Ministry of Science and ICT also argued that foundational legal grounds should be put in place for the establishment and support for private self-regulatory bodies. In addition, the Ministry of Science and ICT said it will actively support data and AI-related public-private partnership task forces. Within this year, we plan to prepare a digital platform development strategy involving the Ministry of Science and Technology, companies, and experts to encompass the values of innovation and fairness. Choi Soo-yeon, CEO of Naver, said, The government welcomes discussing self-regulation measures with platform companies and will gather wisdom together for a healthy digital ecosystem going forward. Nam Gung Hoon, CEO of Kakao, called for the government's interest and support for the advancement of the self-regulation system implemented by the internet industry and said, we will actively participate in related discussions in the future. After the meeting, he said on Facebook, the emerging metaverse sector resembles gaming in its technical form and appearance, but it should be clearly distinguished from gaming in the policy area. SKT to open a VFX studio in Pungyo, expanding hyper-cooperation between domestic and foreign media companies. SK Telecom introduced Team Studio, a VFX-based media content production center in Pungyo's second techno valley, Songnam-si, Gyeonggi-do, to strengthen its content production capabilities and expand cooperation among media companies. SK Telecom announced on the 21st that it had completed and started operation of Team Studio, with two LED wall stages, including a volume stage and extended reality stage, as large as 350 square meters, about 930 pyong. The volume stage allows for producing entertainment content that requires various backgrounds, such as TV dramas, advertising, and music videos. The XR stage is optimized for producing indoor content such as live commerce programs. SK Telecom said, By utilizing the two LED wall stages owned by Team Studio, we can produce realistic graphics in real time without filming. Until now, it has been common for content production that requires special effects to film actors first in green or blue chroma key background and add background graphics later. However, the latter half of the process took a lot of time and money. Using the LED wall, it is possible to realize the same level of background or environment as reality at the filming stage to increase actors' immersion and significantly reduce time and cost. In particular, the background graphics implemented by the LED wall of Team Studio can not only track, view, or distance but also adjust the direction or flow of light according to the movement of the camera that shifts without staying still. SK Telecom is planning to build a global content ecosystem by using wired and wireless network infrastructure to lead hyper-cooperation and hyper-connection between Team Studio and various domestic and foreign studios. 
The company plans to form a consortium with major LED wall studios in South Korea to share infrastructure and capabilities. Kim Hyuk, Global Media Support Manager for SK Telecom said, Team Studio will contribute to the development of media content industries by combining SK Telecom's core technologies such as wired and wireless communication, AI, and cloud computing. We will lead the global media content production paradigm by strengthening cooperation with domestic and foreign media studios and industry collaboration. Naver to lead the discussion on global AI ethics. Naver will lead the global AI ethics discussion by holding various events under the theme of AI-related ethics. Naver Clova announced on the 22nd that it participated in ACM FACT, the largest international conference in fairness in computer engineering, and held workshops and tutorials under the theme of hyperscale AI-related ethics with international experts. Naver plans to get ahead in the development and application of hyperscale AI technologies through Hyperclova and secure global leadership in the field of AI ethics. According to Naver, the ACM Conference on Fairness, Accountability, and Transparency, which marks its fifth anniversary this year, deals with interdisciplinary research on fairness, accountability, and transparency in computer science. This conference is considered the largest international conference in the field of AI ethics. Naver explained that this year's ACM FACT conference was held both face-to-face -face and online simultaneously at COEX in South Korea from the 21st to the 24th. On the 21st, the first day of the conference, Naver held a workshop under the title Fairness, Accountability and Transparency in Hyperscale Language Models. Experts in the field of AI ethics at home and abroad participated to discuss problems that may arise in the process of developing hyperscale language models and applying them to services for actual users and to explore possible solutions. The workshop had active discussions on the current, future, and ethical issues of hyperscale AI. In the first part of the workshop, a presentation on legal and ethical issues and fairness and transparency related to hyperscale AI was given. In the second panel discussion, experts in various fields related to AI ethics participated including KAIST Professor Cha Mi Yong, who served as a moderator, Seoul National University Professor Ko Hak Su, KAIST Professor Oh Hae Yeon, and Seoul National University Professor Park Sang Chol. On the 22nd, the second day of the conference, John Sang Hyuk, leader of Naver AI Lab, will hold the tutorial on shortcut learning and machine learning, challenges, analysis, solutions, along with Song Kyung Woo, a professor at University of Seoul, and Chong Yong Han, PhD at Purdue University. AI models tend to prefer easier methods for data learning, which often causes problems. The conference will analyze the problems that arise and suggest solutions. This ACM FACT workshop is a good example that shows Naver's global leadership in the field of hyperscale AI ethics, said Ha Jong Woo, director of Naver Clova AI Lab. As AI ethics is a matter that can be tackled by creating social consensus along with technical effort, Naver will work hard to develop AI for the people by working closely with experts. Kyonggi-do to recruit 19 tenant companies for Kyonggi Global Game Center. Kyonggi-do announced on the 20th that it will recruit 9 gaming companies and 10 companies which will receive smart office support to move into Pangyo's Kyonggi Global Game Center by the 15th of next month. Tenant companies can use the workspace for one year at the low monthly rent of 6,334 Korean won per meter squared without a deposit, and can use it for up to two years through screening for period extension. Companies which will receive smart office support can register the location of their workplaces with the Kyonggi Global Game Center and mailbox installation and a mail receipt service are supported. In addition, Tenant companies and those which will receive smart office support can enjoy various benefits from the Kyonggi Global Game Center, such as customized legal, tax, and accounting consulting, mobile test device rental, and cloud service support. In particular, cloud services provide a variety of options that suit tenants' preferences, such as Amazon's AWS, Alibaba Cloud, and Naver Cloud. Subject to recruitment are businesses that are engaged in gaming-related businesses in Gyeonggi-do as of the date of application, prospective startups, 
or businesses that can move their headquarters to Gyeonggi-do and have no arrears of national or local taxes. Companies wishing to move in can submit an application for a space and a letter of introduction of their company through the website of the Gyeonggi Global Game Center by July 15th. Details can be found on the website of the Gyeonggi Global Game Center. Gyeonggi-do will continue to support growth, including place of business, so that fledgling gaming companies in the province, which are the main pillars of the healthy gaming ecosystem, can sustain sustainable growth, said Kim Kyu-shik, future growth policy officer at the province. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. Hanhua Aerospace to be recognized as the best partner of the world's second largest maker of aircraft engines, Rolls-Royce. Hanhua Aerospace announced on the 20th that it recently won the 2022 Trusted to Deliver Excellence Award from Rolls-Royce UK, one of the world's top three aircraft engine makers. The honor is awarded only to Rolls-Royce global partner companies that have recorded the highest level of continuous reliability and timely delivery performance over the past year. Korea Tourism Organization working hand-in-hand -hand to use Dungeon Fighter Online IP to promote South Korea tourism. Nexon announced on the 21st that it has signed an MOU with the Korea Tourism Organization on the 21st for promoting South Korea tourism and attracting tourists at home and abroad using gaming content. With this agreement, Nexon and the Korea Tourism Organization will share and use each organization's content to promote South Korea tourism and revitalize the industry. Kakao Mobility LG Electronics to collaborate on the future of mobility. Kakao Mobility with CEO Ryu Gung Son and LG Electronics signed a business agreement to jointly develop services and expand the mobility ecosystem through technology cooperation in the future of mobility. On the 17th, an agreement ceremony was held at LG Electronics Socho R&D campus located in Yeongjae-dong, Seoul, with the attendance of the CTOs of both companies. That's it for the Pungo Techno Valley Weekly News. I'm Alexandra and I'll see you next week.